Number 91, letter A. What is the resistance of a 220 volt alternating current short circuit that generates a peak power of 96.8 kilowatts? All right. So um, anytime they give you a voltage, you know, anytime they start talking about like peak power instead of just power, um, we have to take special precautions, all right, in doing the problem. Um, I now have to be very careful about what I labeled as voltage. The voltage here is the root mean square voltage. Why? Well, they didn't tell me this is the peak voltage. Also, uh, this is standard, you know, uh, voltage um, of alternating current in certain locations around the world. And uh, they give the values in root mean square. So anyway, that's something I guess you kind of have to know. Not sure how you know it, but well, now you do. So uh, what we now need to realize is when I want to find then the um, resistance, okay, and they give me root mean square voltage, I have to then relate that to somehow power. Now it's not related to peak power, it's related to average power. So in other words, this formula that we have, P is equal to V squared over R. If they start talking about like peak stuff, we gotta be very careful with what we label these variables. This is technically average power, and this is technically root mean square voltage, all right? Now the thing is, in order for me to find then the resistance here, mathematically it's simple. I just gotta do a cross multiplication, right? Bring the average power, on down and the resistance on across and this is it. So I already know the root mean square voltage, they told me that, but they didn't tell me the average power, they told me the peak power. So now we gotta simply figure out how do I find average power from peak power? It's a very, very simple formula. All it is is this, that the average power will be equal to the peak power divided by two. That's it. So the average power is gonna be equal to the peak power of 96.8, that's in kilowatts, you need that in watts, so just multiply it by 10 to the third, divide that by two. Take this then result, and now you're gonna plug it on in for this, okay? So the resistance here becomes the root mean square voltage of 220 squared, divided then all by this 96, 96.8 times 10 to the third all over two, okay? And let's see what we got. So 220 squared, divided then by parentheses, 96.8 times 10 to the third, divide that by two, and we get a value of one. One ohm. Sig figs? Nah. Nah. Whatever. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Take care.